I'm in my closet right now, which I haven't showed in a while, I think, because it has been just absolutely messy disaster in here. You can't even walk on the floor because I always have just piles and piles of clothes everywhere, which is kind of the whole theme to my closet, uh, master bedroom, sweet clothes everywhere. I don't know what it is, but I just cannot get it under control. Um, I took out four trash bags full of things from this closet last night and I still have a lot to do. Um, I'm going to work on going through these clothes later because this whole section over here, like those are like my short sleeve shirts and everything. And when I go over there to look for something to wear, I go through every single shirt and I'm like, no, 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 no. So none of them I want. Um, but it's like, I can't throw them all out or donate them all because then I'll have no shirts and I don't know what to wear. <laughs> so it really is a struggle. Um, I do need to like really get rid of stuff because it's hard to get rid of things sometimes because you're like, well, you know, maybe I might wear that, but, um, it's, it's a struggle. So that's what I'm going to do later. Right now I'm getting ready to head out. I have a Target order to pick up and then I'm going to run into Home Depot really quick and see if they have any mums and see if they have any mums or anything like that because I want to start working on decorating my front porch for fall. I did get a couple mums and a couple pumpkins at Rural King but the selection wasn't that great and it was nighttime and I couldn't even see and I was just in a haste picking them out the other night um so i want to go look at a few more other places before i actually do a porch decorate so i can't wait to share that with you so come along with me and i'm gonna get some things done today i'm gonna stop at starbucks and hopefully i'll find some more fall goodies to finish up my fall look i can't believe it's already the middle of september time has really just flown by but speaking of time flying by, I've got to get going so I can get my Target order. I got a few groceries, like some little snacks for the kids and their lunches. So let's go pick that up. So I'm looking for an extra battery to take with me. And oh my gosh, if you see that, that is a prom dress that I got at Goodwill the other day for $12. Um, we are doing a girls group razor ride and we're all gonna dress in fancy dresses and get all muddy and ride so it'll be so cute and so fun and whenever we do that i'll share some pictures with you guys it is really hot outside i was feeling pretty good like just feeling like a touch of fall like it was kind of starting to cool off but i think it feels like i said like way too much I think it feels about 90 degrees out right now. My temperature gauge says 91. So, got the big shades on again today. Um, if you guys like these, I will link them in the comments down below. I got them, or in the description down below, I got them at, um, I got them from Amazon. So, they're so, so dirty. They have stuff all over them. They're like a big windshield. And I'm trying clean them. To look at some mountains. These are pretty. They're so brightly colored. Oh my god, what just fell on my foot? <laughs> I really like this red color. I don't know which ones I should get. They have one really big pot of mums, but it's pink. And it's super beautiful, and it's the size that I want, but I don't really want pink. It's not a very fall color. But there are a few mums here that say they're $2.50. $2.50, and I don't see what's wrong with them. I like this orange color. I think they're pretty. Them. Oh, I left one behind. Ignore the disaster. 
everything, some fruit. I already put the yogurt and some ground beef in the fridge. They got some snacks for their lunches. Pringles fruit snacks. I feel like I ordered more than this. Tortilla chips. And let me know if you've ever tried the shampoo and conditioner, the Kristen S. Um, I decided to try it. I don't know, I read the reviews and they weren't that great. Mm. I don't know, if I read like two bad reviews, I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> so if I was in the store, I would just buy it. I like the packaging, it's very aesthetic. I love the way it looks. It smells really good, like a very sophisticated smell. I, I like this, so. I'm trying this for the first time. I just got the conditioner because I still have um, some very expensive shampoo and I ran out of the conditioner before I ran out of the shampoo, obviously. So I decided just to try the conditioner first to see if uh, anything weird happened. So hopefully that will work. I'm gonna pick this up or put this away and I'm gonna get started picking up because if you've taken a look around, it is a complete disaster in here. It's Monday and we're just busy doing stuff over the weekend. So once Monday rolls around, everything is just trash though. So. I need to start uh, working on getting this house under control and figuring out what we're gonna have for dinner. some shirts to get rid of and I feel like I don't want to wear really any of these shirts maybe a couple but I can't bring myself to get rid of them yet I don't know why probably because I would literally have zero shirts or maybe two or three I might wear but I did get rid of well let's see all these hangers, I think maybe two of them were already empty. So that's a start. But I'm in this row because I'm always freezing in the house. They want the air conditioning up and I get so cold. So it's like being wrapped up in a blanket all the time. But I've been working on getting everything organized. My drawers, so I only have so much space in them. Right now everything is folded and neat in most of them. But I have so much stuff in here that it's hard to keep it looking neat. So I'm trying to get rid of stuff that I don't need. And I think I could go through this again. Like what is this? What is this shirt? It's like Jerry Seinfeld's puppy shirt. I actually pretty much all my shirts are. It has the tags on it. I'm not doing this. I feel like my clothing style changed, kind of like my decor style, but everything in my closet is big and ruffly and puffy. 
and I just don't want to wear that right now. I don't know, I'm just not in the mood. Or I haven't been in the mood to wear ruffles and puffs for a while. So that's basically like everything here. It's like floral puff, 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 puff. And I'm not wearing any of the puff things. These are all my Rachel Parcel tops. I have like three or four of these um, from Rachel Parcel and they have the puffy sleeves. And they're super cute, but I, every time I put one on, like, they're cute. But then I put one on and I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, no. <laughs> you just can't do it. I can't do it anymore. It's like, it, all of a sudden I cross some boundary where that shirt just does not look okay on me. So, that is it for today. I will do some more vlogging tomorrow, but right now I think I'm going to... Uh, light a candle and eat a snack which I definitely don't need a snack I should probably work out but I'm gonna have a snack because I bought these really yummy pumpkin donuts that I remember from last year and they're so good um, and then I'm gonna shop for some clothes online and I get so overwhelmed shopping for clothes online which I never get any clothes because it's too hard to sit and scroll through things I don't have the attention span to do that so hopefully I can find something um, to order to kind of get some new shirts and maybe it will motivate me to get rid of some more if I have some new stuff to put up and then just get rid of everything so so that is it for tonight and I will be back tomorrow all right it is the next day and I have a disaster of a house still here I ended up having to run so many errands yesterday and then I came home and made dinner I didn't have time to really get a whole lot of cleaning done and as you can see last night's dinner dishes are still in the sink and it is quite the mess and I've got some stuff soaking on the stove top right now I'm going to clean that off and do the dishes and then I am going to put some dinner in the crock pot I know it's a little bit too much for sure so cold but we're always coming back for more it goes in this wicked game it's all for sure oh I've got you we figured out what it's all about Takes a second and then we're back it again Coaster ride for the triggered minds But I don't ever want us to stop playing Go ahead, then let me smile from for all I care Just wanna stay close, don't say that Ain't gonna leave ya I wanna sabotage
struggling with what to make for dinner lately and I usually um, use all fresh ingredients and stuff when I'm cooking. I don't like to buy a lot of frozen things, but if it can get a dinner made, it's so much easier. I'm going to make a ground beef stew and I saw these at Kroger and it's stew vegetables. So basically it's potatoes, carrots, onions, and celery already cut up. So everything that I would already buy and cut up is already ready and put in here. Um, personally, I would have preferred if I buy them, the only difference is I would have bought all organic. So if I could, you know, if, they, if it was available, but I thought, wow, this looks so easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I've got the beef, the ground beef, I just cooked two pounds of it and I'm straining it in the sink. So I'm gonna put that in the crock pot. And then I'm not even really using a recipe. So I'm just gonna put the stew vegetables in. And also it would be, um, you could add green beans, corn, stuff like that. I don't know, I might not need, I might not need two bags of them. Um, I'm gonna add some tomato sauce or tomato soup, something of that sort, and probably some beef stock, and put a little bit of seasoning in it and go ahead and turn the crock pot on for a super quick and easy dinner. I think I'm going to use tomato juice and beef broth. While my crock pot is quite full, probably overdid it. Um, I'm gonna put some fresh garlic in here and I've got some Italian seasoning and I'm just going to stir this in to the meat, vegetables, and broth mixture. And again, you can use really any vegetables that you want and make your broth any way that you want. Um, vegetable juice. I used vegetable juice, beef broth, and a little bit of uh, tomato soup because I would have used tomato paste, but I was out of tomato paste, so I used a can of tomato soup to give it a tomato-y flavor. And I put, um, like I said, the stew vegetables in here, which was potatoes, carrots, onions, and celery. I have two bags of that, two pounds of ground beef, and what else did I put in there? And I put a can of diced tomatoes in there. So I'm gonna get that stirred up and let that sit in the crock pot for a few hours, and we should be good to go at dinner. This garland from last year, and I love it so much, and I'm going to put it on the fireplace down here in the family room. I don't have a lot of fall ideas for down here because I like this that this is the one place in my home that is pretty minimal and that thing that you see on the TV is uh, the chandelier's reflection. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this on the mantel. I turned on a cute little Disney Halloween screensaver and I put the garland on the top of the fireplace which looks really pretty and neutral and then I just had some extra pumpkins that I put down there and oh our fireplace isn't on. Let me turn that on. 
Okay, that makes it much more ambiance. And then I have, oh my gosh. I got this at Home Goods, and it is this cute little box, and if you open it up, there is a speaker on the inside, which I painted and got paint on the top of, so it looks pretty ugly, and I don't know if this affects the sound quality of the speaker, but I literally hate the speaker, and I put it in sideways so the cord could come out, and then it goes into the wall right there, so. Um, my husband has to have the speaker, so I tried to disguise it as nicely as possible. You can still see the cord, but sometimes you just gotta live with things. There's gotta be a better way to not have, I don't know, to have completely hidden speakers, but there, it's like um, a bass speaker, is that what it's called? I don't know. Um, but there's one up there, and then obviously there's some there and around the room. But I would have preferred them to be like in the ceiling. I don't know why he did this. That one's kind of hanging down. But yeah, I would rather them be in the ceiling. But yes, much more ambient. I don't know why I didn't have the fireplace on. But I think it's looking super cute down here. And then I just have my clock there. And um, I didn't do anything in this area for fall. I don't know. I'm just, I love everything that's here. So I haven't thought to change anything yet. I have one of this big, beautiful crystal that I love sitting on this um, antique pedestal and then I have a Dior book and this really pretty um, vessel I think this has like a kind of a modern vibe even though I've got like shiplap and stuff in here it's like I don't know I guess modern farmhouse even though I don't even like the term farmhouse um, I want to take the shiplap down and do like trim panels I don't know what that's called but I want to change the trim work in here so maybe that will happen and I really do like this um, statue too and we got our little um, Google thing back there hidden and then over here I don't really have any fall stuff out um, I did have fall stuff here last year I put one of those garlands on this table with some pumpkins and stuff but I went ahead and put both of them up there so um, I don't know what I'll do over here it's kind of the view I do have some like rust colored pillows I could put down there but I just don't know if I'm feeling it right now so that's the extent of my fall decorating down here. Mainly focused to the fireplace. If I decide to do something else, I will definitely let you guys know. I forgot to show you the stuff that I picked up yesterday. Um, I got six of these orange mums because they were only $2.50 a piece. And then I had already gotten these mums the other day and a few pumpkins. And then I got a, a bale of straw, which this isn't how I'm going to decorate it. I just went ahead and set everything here until I get all of the pieces. Um, and then I will decorate the porch. It is a complete mess right now. So um, that will be in another video though. So stay tuned and be subscribed for that one. I was feeling super tired for some reason, which you probably noticed in that last clip. I had taken a nap, a little nap, like 15 minutes, and I woke up and went down there and did that, so I didn't even look in the mirror after that. I looked crazy. But um, I just picked this up at Target. Pick up, I got some energy drinks, one of them being the Celsius Sparkling Fuji Apple and Pear, which is really good. And then the stew is almost done. I ended up putting... Some tomato paste in here um, I thought about putting corn and green beans in here I kind of wish I had uh, but I made some rice and I'm gonna put the rice in there okay as you can see I did end up adding green beans and then I put some rice in it to make it more filling but thank you guys so much for watching today that is it for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like and leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already I have lots more fall videos coming your way including our bathroom renovation which I'm finally going to show you so I can't wait to share that with you and I will see you in the next one 
Bye.